a visit to the local pool in Nordhausen. Students from the University of Applied Sciences are here to help figure out ways of saving energy. Keeping the place heated is expensive. We have a temperature of about 26 degrees Celsius to maintain here. The room has a high ceiling, the pool was built in the Art Nouveau style, and modern insulation cannot be installed because of historic preservation regulations. The regulations mean energy savings have to be accomplished in an invisible way. The students and their professors found the solution in the cellar. A new heating plant costing 200,000 euros is being installed. Of course, that's good. When I did the calculations, I was still a student. That it was taken seriously is good to know. It feels really good. This isn't a small building and it won't be cheap to implement. Expected annual savings, 35,000 euros. Those kinds of figures make student skills in hot demand especially when they come from Nordhausen's University of Applied Sciences. They were the first in Germany to specialize in renewable energies. That has made the weather a crucial issue on campus, especially knowing the number of hours of sunlight. At the university's heat storage facility, the professor is assessing what the good weather has brought. We ask what he can see there. I see different warm and cold areas. The temperature varies across the collector. The degree program is a mixture of mechanical engineering and electronics. But now the collector is slowly but evenly warming up. No sign of the economic crisis here. In fact, we're expanding. In the background, you can see our building site. That's where our new Institute for Regenerative Energy Technology is going. We've expanded research opportunities here, built new laboratories, and are investing heavily in this degree program. We're thoroughly convinced it'll play a major role in the future of global energy production. Renewable energy technology is booming, and last year German exports in the sector amounted to some 12 billion euros. We put out our solar cooker earlier because we have a bit of sunshine. It's 10.30 in the morning and we could put some sausages in there right now if we had them. Some of the international students think this solar cooker would be useful back home in areas without electricity. It's ideal for Tunisia, right? For some villages, yes, it would help prevent deforestation. Sometimes women have to go up to five kilometers to gather firewood. Graduates of the degree program can work practically anywhere. But can they really pick their job? Not exactly pick, but I think job opportunities in the renewable energy sector are considerably better. So in a sense you have a choice instead of taking the first one that comes along. This solar company has made it. It's relatively close to the university and has managed to sign up one graduate. Engineers with knowledge of solar technology remain in demand. And the development is unaffected by the price battle going on in the sector. We don't have any economic problems. We've got 90% growth. But finding qualified staff is difficult. Who approaches whom? I believe I recruited the graduate. We originally met a while back, and I approached him and asked what he was doing at the university. When I faced the problem of having to develop something, I re-established contact and asked if he was interested in working with us. It took a while, but he came on board. Once he's completed his degree, he's expected to stay, but the firm is now looking for more people. By the end of next year, they'll need another 15 experts.